yes, it is true. You read that title right. Let's get into it. G'day, just a quick video to address a lot of rumors and to save me having to message people and people messaging me to make sure I'm okay and everything, I'm okay. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But yes, well first we'll start with uh, David Heath. I did get to meet David Heath. I don't really know David Heath. I've seen a few of his videos over the years. Uh, we might have passed some comments and some messages um, over the years, but that's about as far as our relationship really went. But I was invited out to dinner via uh, Kegland and um, I've never been out with the Kegland guys before. I've only met Key a couple of times. So uh, I took up the opportunity to have some free beer and a feed at one of my favorite breweries, uh, Stomping Ground. So, uh, And then they said David Heath was going to be there. And I actually, look, to be totally honest, I did say, look, I don't want this to be turned into a, uh, you know, me turn up and people take photos and say, oh, look, um, Gavin or Gash is here with me with David Heath and you know, all that. I said, look, I don't really want that, but I'm quite happy to come along and have dinner and have a chat. And so that's what happened. We went out and uh, we had some pizza and some beers and the great beers at Stomping Ground always. Uh, David was there for a couple of hours. He had to leave. He was going back to Norway that night, or at least he was leaving Australia that night. I'm not sure where he was going. He was here on business. He does work for, a, I think most people know, a homebrew uh, shop. I'm not going to pretend that I know how to pronounce it. I'll put it up on the screen here in Norway, a quite a, a big shop from what I know, and I think they're out here doing business. I don't really know. Um, I'm totally, I'm not involved with Kegland or with them, uh, so it's none of my business. I, I didn't ask too many questions because it's none of my business. Uh, so that happened, and at the end of the night we took a photo. The next day, I was going to Queensland with my family um, for five nights uh, holiday, you know, a, a pre-school holiday time because it's cheaper to go on school holidays when it's not school holiday time. Um, and that's why we did it. So it was a school holiday with the kids. Anyway, by uh, the Friday night was the dinner. By the Monday morning, I mean Sunday, I thought sort of thought it. I was feeling a bit funny, but then by uh, Monday morning, yeah, uh, tests proved that I had COVID. Um, I, I'm not saying I caught it off David, although David was sick at the dinner. He was, although he said it was a hangover. He only drank two sour beers, I think it was. I was into the IPAs, yay. <laughs> Free beer, pints of IPA. Um, yeah, I actually think I probably got it uh, off my daughters because it's rampant in schools these days. And they, the week before we even went up there, they'd had, you know, runny noses. And, but the, the, you know, mainly the um, just turned seven year old, you know, six to seven years old, they've always got runny noses anyway. And we were testing them every day. You know, you get the free tests from school and none of them ever, ever came back positive. Actually, the probably a couple of days or a week before we left, the little one did have a PCR test too, which came back negative. But uh, anyway, we share beds. You know, the wife shares a bed with one daughter and I share a bed with the other daughter when we go out, when we stay in a little flat that's only got two beds in it, two double beds. And I think I probably caught it off my daughter, even though that they, um, you know, they might've been right at the end of it. And uh, I've picked it up. It had been six months since my third uh, booster shot because I got them really early because of Crohn's disease and um, uh, I've got indigenous heritage and yeah I, so I could get it really early and so my third shot my third booster or second booster or whatever it is was six months ago um, I'd actually had my flu shot three days before we went away but I, I don't think that's got anything to do with it so anyway I my family uh, were all good never got a symptom after that they got tested every day um, and we worked out that, you know, by the time my first symptom, they could ended up being allowed to fly home, but I wasn't allowed to fly home. I was still sick. So I had to stay up there another four days, I think it was. And, um, they had to isolate for a couple of days when they got back for the seven days from contact or whatever. Anyway, it all worked out that I got still a bit short of breath. Um, I got home on Monday. 
after my seven day isolation. Um, and look, I'm better, except that there's a couple of hanging around things. I, I was really sick in Queensland, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I was down for the count. Uh, and that's, you know, why I wasn't up and at them and been able to come home. So I was stuck there. Um, but now I've, I've got, you know, it's a bit cloudy in the head. I'm still a bit short of breath. I'm not sure um, if you can tell that. You probably can't because I'm standing still. Uh, and really, really tired. Really, really tired. Um, you know, I go walk the kids to school, then I get back and I nearly need a nap. And then I'm, I'm in bed really early, which never, ever happens. So, but I'm on the mend. Um, at least I've had it now. I can lick pole, lick handrails and things for a little while because, you know, I've had three shots and the virus. Apparently that's the best form of defence against it, to get it. <laughs> anyway, that's it. I just want to say I'm okay. I'm back. Yes, I did meet David Heath. He may have gave me COVID. Who knows? I don't know. I think it was from my daughters, though. It could have been from a random person on the plane. Who knows? But they have all been fine. The wife's been fine because we're testing them all the time. And uh, yeah, I'm here. And that's why you haven't seen a Gen 4 video yet. Today, I might get around to doing the clean. Um, I'll see how I feel after this. That was my phone. I knew I should have turned it off. So anyway, take care. Thanks to Kegland for the free feed and the couple of beers. It's always appreciated. I hope we can do it again sometime soon. And that's about it. Look after yourselves. Avoid it if you can, don't get it. It's not very good. I mean, it might be all right for some people. It wasn't very good for me. But uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, thanks to you, and thanks to my Patreons and all that sort of stuff. Love yous all, see you later.